hello everyone this is sapphire needles you're welcome to my channel today we'll be learning how to draft a 360 how to cut a 360 degree flare and a 720 degree flare i'll be using this pattern for it if this is something you'd like to learn please keep watching and if you've not subscribed just hit that subscribe button and um, help me grow thank you so let's just get started um, I folded this paper into two this is a part that is on fold here I put it into two and in the last video we learned how to get our, um, our radius so here I folded it into two and then I'll fold it again that's into four this is the part on fold here it's into four one two three four I hope you understand it so at this point is where I'm going to be getting my radius for the 360 degree flare and to get the radius we would divide our circumference by 2 pi pi is 3.14 2 pi is 6.28 so um, if you're dividing by 4 let me use just for the purpose of this tutorial the radius will be 20 so let's say 20 by 6.28 is 3.1 that's for a 360 degree flare so we'll be using 3.1 for this radius here from this point now is where we'll take it We'll measure from so 3.1 3 4 5 6 7 8 you could decide to put your allowance you know maybe it's a peplum and you'd like to attach it you attach to a blouse definitely and then your zipper allowance so you can use 3.5 instead okay so just let's use 3.5 or even 4 for zipper allowance so let's just use that extra one in so we could use 4 Four. So what I'm doing is a 360 degree flare that's um, circumference divided by 2 pi that's 20 by 6.28 is what I'm doing. So I'll just connect these lines, these dots and then measure the length of my peplum or flare whatever it is i'll be using five as the length here so now this is what my flare would look like this i'm taking this out this is the waist plus allowance this is what it looks like so let's cut out the radius Remember, this is a flare plus sewing allowance. So this is what it looks like. It's on fold. It's on fold. This is what it looks like here. So what I didn't do is to open up one side because we'll be attaching it around the blouse. 
as a peplum or even a skirt so this is what it will look like here this is what it looks like the flare is visible here this is what a 360 degree um, flare looks like now let's move on to the 720 A 720 degree peplum is just simple mathematics it's double of the 360 now when i say double of the 360 if you get two 360 360 plus 360 is 720 that's math this is plus this is that's how we get the 720 but when i say it's double of the 360 i don't mean you should just cut another size like this no because it's going to be double of this remember we used 20 as circumference that's the waist of um this 360 degree peplum if we are going to be cutting double of a 360 to get 720 so that's just not even if um 720 degree peplum comes out in two it comes out like double so you have to join it and it gives more flare so the higher the degree of the um, peplum the fuller the flare is so to get the um, 720 degree peplum this is what we'll, we'll do 720 360 degree circumference is um 20 so for the 720 degree peplum since the circumference is 20 we'll be dividing 20 by 2 it will give us 10 so when we get two of this that's 10 plus 10 is 20 do you understand i hope you understand because you can actually respond to me so um we're going to be divided to get 720 we'll get two 360 degrees to get two six two 360 degrees we we'll have to divide the circumference the waist by two which is 10 so we'll be working with 10 for this so we'll cut two peplums with 10 inches as circumference yeah so 10 as circumference 10 plus 10 20 will give us back the um exact circumference of the waist so we'll cut double of it let's illustrate it make an example of what i've been saying i'll just divide this paper into two i'll keep it one half aside so this is what we're working with this one now i'll divide it one i'll fold it that's four here so our um, previous for the 360 we used 20 inches for this we'll be using 10 because we're cutting two peplums two 360 degree peplums so um we we'll divide our waist by two 20 by two is 10 10 10 divided by 6.28 that's two pi is 1.5 so 1.59 1.5 plus um allowance so 1.5 1.5 plus one inch allowance that's 2.5 so 2.5 2.5 and we'll be using um five inches as the length of the flare peplum in this case five inches mm -hmm. 
so Let's trim it out so it's equal. This side is the part on fold. It's supposed to be two, but you know the paper now. This one side is supposed to be closed and then one side open that will join to this but let's just keep this aside. So I'm going to be doing the same thing I did for this. I'll be doing it here. And this is what it would look like. Remember. 360 degrees to 360 degree peplum gives 1720 but the only thing you'll be adjusting is the circumference of the waist you have to divide it into two that's just it or you just fold your paper just fold your um, fabric or pattern paper into two. Just fold it by eight because 360 you fold by four to get 720. You fold by eight, meaning your radius will be smaller because you're going to be getting double peplum. So, this is what it should look like. Let me just tape it and show us what it looks like. So I'm done taping um taping it. This is what a 720 degree peplum looks like. It's full because it's double of the 360. It has more flare. And um this is what a 360 degree peplum looks like here. Yeah. So it just goes to say that the higher the degree, the fuller the peplum. I hope this video is helpful and I do hope you understand. Please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and touch that bell to always get a notification anytime I drop a video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and bye.